Peace, everyone. Peace, peace. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome. Peace, peace. Peace to show. I have some stuff to share with y'all. Bear with me. Peace, 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 who you with? Peace, sunshine, does music. Peace, Teresa. Peace, Isla. Welcome, welcome. Peace, Winnie. I know it's like really late at night, so most people are sleeping. I don't know why y'all are up. <laughs> why are y'all up? I'm happy that you're here. If um, you are here, um, this message is for you, especially. Or whenever you hear it, if I'm able to save this. So... Um, where do I begin? First, um, shout out to all SAU students, Inner Circle and Alchemy Circle for your understanding this week. Earlier this week, um, let's just say something very tragic happened <laughs> which um my youngest daughter made a remark she was like oh my gosh mommy like <laughs> the most craziest stuff happens and um it put me into a space of it was a f almost like a forced space of heavy, heavy spiritual work. Heavy spiritual work. Like, it's been a while. It's been a while since it was like this. So much so that even um, speaking to you all is a challenge. I have not been able to properly articulate myself in English. It's getting better now, but it's, it's very challenging where I feel like there's a delay. So my mind is saying one thing, but my mouth feels like it's moving in slow motion. It's the weirdest thing. At the same time, it makes sense because... Um, this, our language is a degenerative way of us communicating, right? Uh, we are built to communicate telepathically, but not only we forgot how our DNA was messed up in a way that is very challenging for us to do so. Our mouths were not made to communicate, y'all. That's why you can't eat and talk at the same time. You know, if our mouths are meant to communicate, there would be two different functions, um, you know, anatomically. But anyway, so bear with me. I've made peace with it that um, I will not, I will no longer be able to speak as eloquently as I used to speak 
that bothered me. Um, but now I don't care. <laughs> now I don't care. So, um, welcome to everyone that is joining. Why am I on here tonight? Oh my goodness. Because what I want to share, I was going to save it. I don't know. I was like, maybe I'll go live Saturday when I'm, you know, more grounded in this reality. But I started, and many times when I go live impromptu like this is because I have, I'm having the verbal conversations with y'all, but I'm not live, if that makes sense. So I, I, I start, I'm not talking to myself. I'm like, I'm talking out loud to you, but even though you're not physically here. Okay. Um, so <laughs> that's what was happening. And I was like, well, let me grab my phone and um, let me share some stuff with y'all. <sighs> so, um, like I said, something happened this week. I automatically, and it was brewing for a while, but I automatically went um there was a process of things that I did one uh I was led to do a particular spiritual path then I went to sleep got back up and I meditated but this was a very one of those um I'm one of those me pouring myself out to my spirit team and um, not waiting for any answers because I, I, I didn't know what I, there was, I, I didn't need it to hear anything at that moment. Let me just say that. So I pulled what I had to say, say what I had to say, had a brief conversation with them and went to sleep. And that's when it happened. And they were like, we're about to explain stuff to you. We're about to break it down for you. Because you asked. <laughs> and I really wanted clarity on like, what is this? Like, this is like, ugh, this is like the most. And so I went to sleep and had a whole entire, um, I would say more of a what would be considered outer body experience um slash astral traveling so i was conscious like i knew is i i was conscious of my this reality self of melanie but i was not in the embodiment of melanie if that makes sense and I was shown some things. Um, there is a there's a lot of stuff that I don't share publicly, just because I'm told like, shh, not now, don't say it. And I always tell you, don't you don't have to trust me, but trust the resonance. If you are resonating with this, if it's like that makes sense, this is truth. And even if you don't trust the resonance. Um, what do I always bring to back it up is some science, <laughs> right? So I'm never, I'm never, I'm very conscious on teaching something and not backing it up for those who are like, that don't make sense. I've never heard that before. It's okay. And so um, I experienced some stuff that I have never experienced or seen before. And I was like, oh. Um, I'm not gonna share it tonight. Um, I feel like I will. 
But here's what I will say. When I said that I'm very clear on who I am and what I'm here to do, that was like solidified this week. It was it was 100% solidified. Um, when I say that I'm clear on who I'm here to help, that is solidified this week. And I was reminded of what I was told back in 2015, 2014. I was reminded of what I was told back then, what I saw with regards to this, um, I'm doing air quotes, planet that we live on and what she told me and what she showed me. And even back then when I was sharing it with people and people were just like, that's crazy. What are you talking about? I was talking to my daughter today and I was like, remember when I was saying this? And now you see all over social media. And I was like, I I was saying this before looking crazy and I don't mind it. I don't care. I'm I like I'm the the ego part of me of me being um, people thinking, oh, she's crazy. What is she talking about? Like, I don't care. Um. Stuff is always going to be backed up by spirit. So, like, it's all good. I've never come on. I've never taught y'all something or shared something with y'all that that truth can't back it up. This is why I would say truth is truth. So, um, I'm, I'm going to share some stuff with you. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some stuff with you. And you can believe it or not. Here's the thing. My mission, I have a bigger mission that that um, I'm not going to share right now. But, or a bigger purpose. There's an overall purpose to this, right? But the work, the work is to those spiritual beings, because remember, I've been saying everyone is not the same on this planet. Now we know, right? That's like pretty factual now when the government is saying it. For, but for spiritual beings and for the old souls, because I had to be, make a distinction in that, even a distinction with that, um, that no that they are here for something greater. They just can't put their finger on it. My job is to teach you how to decode all of these codings. (laughs) So that you can spiritually ascend. And the fast track to that is by fulfilling your soul mission. I promise y'all that. I promise y'all that. Because that is you doing you you on that path, knowing what that is, all the obstacles are gonna come up, all the challenges, all the shadow work, all the healing, all that, all that, all that. The shit's not easy. But when you have uh, a goal point when you're like, well, this is what I'm here to do. So this has to. Everything that happens on the way to that is part of it. It's the part of the development. Do you understand? I'm doing that so that you can ascend, y'all. Listen. Listen to me. This re- this this world is a dunny. It's, it's over. And this is not to scare you because it's, it's peace. When you're in alignment, when you are doing your soul mission work, I, I promise. Because one of the things I had to experience was what that, what that looked like and what it felt like. And it felt like peace. It felt like, ha, huh, bliss. <laughs> I'm going back home now. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> D- 
those who are playing with spirituality for the entertainment of it, or let me just try this just in case. I'm not here for none of y'all. I, I said it, was it last month on the blue Abundance Blueprint? Unsubscribe from my channel because you're taking my energy. I don't have time for it. <laughs> I'd rather that energy be spent on someone who's like, I'm here to do this work. How can, help me, teach me. Right? This, those who are playing spiritual games, I, what is it, 2020, I did that video on deception, deceptors, excuse me, when I channeled the message that deceptors are about to get exposed. Is it like every week I'm hearing of someone? It's, it's not enough that the, the fake ass Christians, the ones who are Jesus pumpers, Um, who don't open up their Bible to read it. If you if they open up their Bible to read if they actually um I don't know what I what I just said. I just my eyes were closed and I opened it and my screen was frozen. Um what was the last thing I said, y'all? <laughs> oh my goodness. What was the last thing I said? Well, let me repeat it. Uh, thank you. The Jesus bumpers, pumpers, whatever. If they actually open up their Bible, they would probably switch religions. <laughs> because the amount of him talking about third eye and the amount of rituals in that book and the amount of crystal wearing and moon you know, following the, the the setting intentions and manifestation with the new and the full moon, <laughs> the, the amount of stuff, the, the type of thugged out energy that he was and all the gangsters that he rocked with. They would, but it, it's a facade. It's a what is, it's a fake being that people are, are portraying. And, um, they are getting exposed as as being scammers and all. It's, it's all. I'm telling the last couple months, like two huge people. A friend of mine told me about someone two months ago. Huge, million, million, um, view, with mil, million subscribers, whatever. Multi millionaire, Jesus pumper, got exposed, and another one got exposed because you you teaching on false falsehoods. And I don't have yeah. If y'all know me, I have no beef. With Jesus at all. I have no beef with the Bible or the ancient texts. I like them. <laughs> I learned a lot from them. There's truth in there. I have issue with those who are taking something that someone said and manipulating it. I literally saw a, a, a celebrity who was, uh, uh, had like a near death experience and was saved. And I know how she was saved. And as she was talking, thank you, Jesus, thank you. I literally saw the entity attached to her and I screenshot it. It's on my phone. This shit is real. I was like, oh, you bargained your soul. <laughs> and that entity is forever on you because you weren't talking this before. And on the flip side, the conscious people, the freaking debaters, you just like you stuck in your ego and y'all saying the same shit over and over and over and over. Oh my gosh. Are you for real? It's the same old recycled stuff. There's, you're not saying nothing new. And the, the levels of expansion that are happening on this planet spiritually, you would think they would have some new stuff to talk about. And the debates, we, we, it, 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 it's like, are you, it's a waste of you melanin. 
Are you y'all still debating if we're from Africa or from America? Who gets are you for real? <laughs> Meanwhile, anthropologists found uh wooden structures in the Zambia this week that's over or seven hundred or five hundred million years old or thousand years old. <sighs> And y'all debating on uh, 400 year history, 2000 year old history. And then we get caught up in that. Deceptors, and they too have been getting exposed, getting arrested, and all kinds of stuff. And it's not because older oh, man is trying to shut us down. No, let me tell you who's shutting shit down. Mama Universe. She's like, I'm done with all of this. And the only saving grace is this planet because she's like, hold up. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this is what I, I know. She's like, some of my people are there and they need to get out. And this ties into my individual soul mission. All those people, all those men talking trash about women when you came out of the vagina of a woman. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but you hate women so much, they get snatched up and exposed. Especially the ones who talk shit about black women. Are you kidding? Are you Are you crazy? Everyone on this planet came from the DNA of a, a black woman. Th that is disres You would not disrespect your mother like that. And I'm not saying that it, I'm not, it's not all or nothing of nothing. So I'm not trying to get into no debates. Anybody that's triggered, you can log off and go watch whatever YouTube, Instagram, you. I don't care. Miss me with all of that. But there's a truth here that's backed by science. Every every human on this planet came from a black woman. Period. So to mock or be disrespectful is this is is like, are you crazy? And you have to answer to that. There's there's <laughs> you have to answer to that. And those that are doing that are get they're, they're being dealt with. It's not a coincidence. Like, that's just the truth. And this is not a white versus black thing. That, 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 if, let's just look at the science of it. There, there, there's a truth to that. Even black women... Talk, like talking drives are hurting other black women. This is it's crazy. Everyone came out. Everyone came out of that that portal. Every being on this planet. There's you the 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 way that. You are dealt with is you get stuck here. You get stuck here. You don't want to be stuck. And people that say, oh, I'm not coming back again. Yes, you are. Because you're stuck. You don't want to do the work. I'm not here to teach you. Don't, don't take a class. Don't take, a, don't take a nothing of me. Don't watch my channels if you're not trying to do the work. Don't ask me no questions. I'm not here to entertain people. When I say get a notebook and a pen out, I really need it. I'm trying to help y'all decode information. Like this is for real. Like I, I saw this. I saw. I saw how it happens. <laughs> I saw how it happens. And I'm telling. I've been telling y'all the cheat codes on how to get out. I teach this. I literally teach this in the classes. You have to heal. People always say that you need to heal, do your shadow work, but nobody teaches you how to do it. And I'm teaching y'all how to do it. 
you know your soul mission. It's a fast track. How to heal the, the fast way to heal in Chiron. Know what, understand what that is. Deal with that trauma first. You can deal with that major trauma. All the other traumas are little ones. I have people that always say, that's too much. I can't do it. Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, y'all have to be, why do I say meditate? Why do I say meditate? Why do I say meditate? Because you have to, it's about communication, y'all. Y'all have to be connected. It's so much stuff out here. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's so much stuff. It's not even a rabbit hole. It's a foxhole of information. It's a freaking black, what do you call those? Like a chasm of information out here on spirituality. I was watching someone, I won't say their name, and they're part of the, we all are one. You know, the, when we think of spirituality, there are some names that come to, to, um, to mind. Not occultists, some worldly names, right? You know, Oprah and her crew, those people. And I was listening to one of them. And um, he was saying some good stuff. Yeah, that, that was good. Why well, I didn't know he... And then he started saying some lies. Like, I said, like, oh, I get it. Y'all, y'all mixing truthful lies. So you hear the beginning and you're like, oh, this resonates. And you hear the lie and you think, maybe I don't know enough. And what I realized is, because I, I remember too many of my past lives vividly. And what I remember is that one of my past lives, I was like that. I was like the we all are one, everyone on this planet, you know, kumbaya, love and light. I was on that type of time. And guess what? My ass was, I was, I was um, set up and I was murdered. <laughs> me trying to make peace peace on the planet I was set up by a friend who I came back as a friend in this lifetime who my spirit team was like oh hell no let us show you who she was in your past life the only reason why y'all connected is because you forgot but of course you connected you had a relationship in the past in another life with her And I realized that some of these, it's cool, like, that's fine. That's where you are. If it's peace, love, and light, good kudos for you. You you just are a younger soul. If you on Black Lives Matter, great for you. You just a younger soul. I've been I've been there too. I had a past life where I was all about that. So what I'm telling what I'm telling you all is uh, very unique information, but not unique that you it it won't resonate with you, or not unique where some of you may not have had pieces of this information. You don't have the all of it because that's not your mission. Everyone's not a teacher. Just because you have knowledge and you share it does not make you a teacher. There's a certain responsibility that comes with that and a certain giftings that come with that. I was tell- I was just sending a message to someone. I was like, I got to stay in my lane. And every everyone, all my team has to stay in their lanes. And I'm teaching my students, do your soul mission work because you got to be in your lane. If we all in our lanes... I'm I'm straight looking for, I said, I need to find a masseuse because of some stuff that we're doing. I need to find a masseuse, someone who does uh, massage healing, but not just a masseuse. I need a spiritually led person, a spiritual being that does massage work. And so I'm looking, um, I was looking online for someone. 
And I was looking for specific things. And I was like, why do I not know someone here locally? <laughs> because it's people that's not on their missions. It's not on their, 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 their um, don't know what their soul mission is. And they do know it. They are not, they don't know, well, how do I make this work? Or, you know, I, I, I give the example of it being like the side hustle. Right? So one of my things is like, let me help you help yourself. <laughs> let me help you get into, you know, your lane. Like, I just want to see you thrive. Because then you get to go through the processes of healing, finding out who you are, finding out how powerful you are, and then ascension, ascending, getting out of this, this, this construct. It's not that hard, y'all. I promise. <laughs> it's not that hard. The steps aren't that hard. The work is challenging. But if you are open to it, and you have the right support, you can do it. Well, if you're just playing around, then, you know. And if you're scared, say you're scared. And ask for help. Ask for help. There's a commitment that you're going to have to make. <laughs> There's a commitment that you're going to have to make. Oh, was it 11-11 when I stopped? <laughs> I didn't know. Um, it's, it's a commitment that you have to make. And if you're scared, good. 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 I, I taught. I did a lesson on that. Is fear what fear really is? And some of y'all are feeling a nervousness, anxiousness. It's okay. Good. Good. That's what happens when you expand. If you're scared, ask for help. It's it's really that easy. What you need to understand in in this reality that you are in is stop being a punk. <laughs> stop being a punk. Stop letting people that have nothing to do with you talk you out of stuff. You are your, your a soul by yourself. You. Not your friends, not your spouse, not your cousins, not all these people make you feel a certain way when you do stuff. What well, here's what I here's what I promise you. Those same people that talk shit that say what are you doing? There would when there would be like eclipses and stuff. It could be the middle of the winter. I would tell I would wake my girls up. I have a video of there was like this eclipse where the moon was red. I woke my girls up at 2:30. Put your coats and hats on. We going outside. You know, in our backyard, like our neighbors, there was no fence on the sides. So like they could all see who's outside. You think I cared? I'm teaching my daughters about something. I know I know I got I got the looks. I'm I'm walking around barefoot in the grass. <laughs> you know, feeding my tree, hugging my tree. You you have to get past that. What are you what are you doing, Melanie? I would say what I was doing. Oh. It it will be those same people I promise that will come to you. And a lot of y'all need to be set up so that when they come to you, you have something to offer them.
when you really understand when you really understand what this construct is, yo, I'm telling you, I was like laughing my ass off. Like, are you for real? Like, am I? Oh my, it's on now. I saw everything. <laughs> I saw everything. For a bit of it in 2014-15, I saw everything. Everything is 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 go big or get stuck here in destruction <laughs> like for real all these the way these distractions are set up The way these distractions are set up, the way these food things, I, I, I've been talking about the food. Have I not? And I've been telling you that it's not about being healthy. <laughs> I've been telling y'all about the herbs. If, like The amount of herb boxes and things that we create with Zoe is like it's 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 wild because I'm I literally had a conversation with my daughter and I was like I I don't want anyone to say I need this and we don't have a box or a, a blend or something created for them with information on how to do it it's, it's wild because was it how many it was years ago when I was saying that sour sap kills cancer cures cancer like we know that that like that's I said, we know that. Y'all know that because I've talked about it, but the science backs it up. Right? It been backing it up. And the, 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 the fight that I had to fight just to even sell it or just to even have like the attacks that I've had, <laughs> you know, like it's crazy on even my social media, not from people, but like algorithms or even you know, payment processors shutting me down because I said that and I said, I will not not say that. And now a recent study comes out that says, oh yeah, it does. You know, one thing, um, one thing that, uh, uh, who said to me today? Letitia said to me today. She was like, it's crazy because when it is coming from, you're a black woman but you not you don't fit that mold of like um air quote spiritual whatever because i really am like i'm really am from around the way i'm s but i know who my people are i know who i'm supposed to be speaking to so if i if i came on here wearing whatever or being like whatever and being like namaste blessed ones like that's not me and so because of that, it's like, oh, yeah, she said that, but whatever. But when such and such says it, that must be the truth. And it's okay. And I said, I'm okay with that. Because those who have eyes to hear and ears to listen, eyes to hear, eyes to see and ears to listen, um, will get it. What is it? The, dead, the Book of Secrets says when... Um, the spiritual ones, I'm paraphrasing, uh, when information connects to their head, they hold fast to it. So when that third eye is like, that's it, that's truth, it, it locks onto it. It realizes the truth that it is. And so I'm I'm good with that. I I I I believe that this filters out stuff and it filters out people, you know. And I'm I can't tell you how exciting that makes me, because like I, I was telling um, in a circle students, like I get to really uh, engage and spend more time with you, 
really match power with power, energy with energy. And even those who, you know, just have been following, you know, on YouTube for some time. I'm really serious about that. So, um, I don't know. Sorry, I just read a message. Hold on a second. I think y'all think that I'm um <laughs> playing with people. <laughs> I'm not playing with you and your philosophies. Don't come over here with that. And stop trying to do not post nothing under my videos thinking that you schooling me on some peace, love, and light stuff because you just started learning about stuff when I've been doing this. And again, I'm not just, you hear a snippet of my video and think I'm about whatever. You watch the whole video first and and check me out. Like, watch my stuff. Because I'm not going to say anything without backing it up. Spirit always backs me up 100%. So miss me with that trying to argue or debate me. I don't debate with anybody. You can say whatever you want to say. Your comment will get liked. Thank you for the comment. Thank you for the energy. Thank you for supporting the algorithm. But you trying to come on here, trying to are you you trying to school me? I I rec I see you. I recognize who you are. You don't think I see you. You don't think I know you. You're not my peer. You can go on someone else's love and light channel and talk, have that conversation with them. <laughs> we are all not one. Those are for younger souls. Are you are you for real in your in your brain right now? How is that possible when your government is saying that there's aliens here? I'm sitting, I'm literally telling y'all, this is a construct. There are multiple constructs and there are different beings. Every ancient text talks about it. We're not, everyone is not the same. You, you, you know, there was, there was a, do y'all remember that movie Independence Day? Um, in the, the, <laughs> when, um, when the people were on top of the building, when the alien ships had settled, right? And it was a group of people on top of the building, like, welcome aliens. And they were like, yay. They were having a party on top of a building, like, yay, aliens, woohoo. Right? And they were the first ones, the aliens like blasted them. <laughs> like, we not the same. Like, yeah, listen, listen. I'm telling y'all from what I know. And as my daughter would say, and that's one period. <laughs> you can believe it or not. Just wait and see. Time, time will always prove truth. Time will always weed out the deceptors, period. And you see them being weeded out. Like, look around. I've been consistent with what I've been saying. I've been consistent. Y'all you don't, you don't know me before I got on YouTube, but I've been consistent. I had someone call me a crunchy mom. I was like, what's a crunchy mom? She was like, you were doing like, I've, I've, I've been doing stuff consciously for decades now, not knowing that it was consciously, just being led by spirit. So I've been talking this stuff. I've been... This is none of this is new to me. Stop trying to teach, trying to school me on black history when y'all don't know who I am academically. I don't brag about the, the articles and the stuff that I've written because I'm, I'm, I'm past that. But there are books that are written that use my research. So miss me with all that. Y'all stop, stop thinking you're trying to school me. It's, it's comical. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to be here. <laughs> oh, my 
gosh. You, Yellow Star Big Mama just told me we're not here to love everyone. I'll share. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, nobody's trying to debate or um nobody's trying to debate or um argue with I'm <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just had to remove somebody because I don't know, she called herself trying to school me on God and love and light. How you you mixing two you mixing two different <laughs> You mixing two different teachings, boo. Pick one. So um that's what I that's that's what I um want to share with y'all um yeah those who those who um who are really committed to this work like y'all are good the the levels of support and help you get in like take that leap and don't be scared don't be don't be fearful and don't blame anyone for, you know, the decision that you are making or not making. Well, Professor Melly, I didn't do my new moon manifestation because you didn't go live and talk about it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think y'all are um, uh, amazing. I uh, soul family. I think y'all are powerful. I know you are. I think you are amazing, and I know you are powerful. And I just want y'all to just go hard. Just, just freaking go hard. Just test it. Just freaking test it. <laughs> just some of y'all just need to like test it. So we all need to test your godness. I remember, um, not I remember. This was a few weeks ago. I had to, I had to pay, pay. It was payroll week. It was payroll week, <laughs> and I did what I usually do, and I laughed, threw my hands up in the air, and I was like, "Welp, I have this team. Everybody got to get paid." Something out of something have to ha has to happen, and out the blue, something happened. Like it was a surprise, huge surprise. I I I play with this. Y'all may have seen a snippet on Zoe's channel. My daughter sh showed a snippet of something. We haven't we haven't announced it majorly yet, but that was another this this year. Spirit said, do this. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. Let me test. Let me see if the, how, the, how are we going to do this. This is part of your spiritual work. Just do it. Don't worry about the, the how. The, the, how don't, don't worry about the figuring out partness of it. I'm just like, Let, let's do it. Let's go for it. And let's see. Like, let's see. Like play with it. Like this is this you are meant to play and experience this place to the fullest while you are healing. This is how you ex ascend. If you're too scared to try, then you're going to be stuck. If you're too stuck in your ego, you're gonna be gonna be stuck.
power. If she says Sister Myra says she would test her powers back in the day without even really trying. It was manifesting great things. Yeah. Why 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 are we afraid to do that? Dude, what 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 is the worst that can I need what is the worst that can happen? Some of y'all things that are the worst really aren't that bad. Like for real. Maybe my perception is thwarted because where I grew up. Or even I was telling my daughters, like, you know what? I didn't I didn't grow up in the hood, 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 hood of the Bronx. Right? So I wasn't like, you know, 161st and Grand Concourse. I wasn't down there. I wasn't on Jerome Avenue. I wasn't like there in the Bronx, right? But I my my how I saw things was was uh, there was a thing that was always in my mind because at three years old, I remember going to see my family um, in Antigua and like my aunt was cooking outside. She didn't have a kitchen. Forget a kitchen. There was no bathroom. So one of my aunts didn't have a kitchen. I don't remember the bathroom situation. When I was three, six and nine, I was there back to back for the whole summer. My other aunt had a kitchen, but in order to use the bathroom, we had to go in the back and pump the <laughs> with the pump water. It was weird, and then we bathed in a bucket. And then, like legit, people had little tiny houses with like tin roofs. Like the luxuries that we have here did not ex exist, and they were good. Like I was, it was so much fun. Like so, you just. You hungry? I, I I remember telling my daughter, my father would leave me. It would be me, my sister, and my cousin. And I don't know, my aunt went to work. My father was, you know, wherever he was on the island. And he would leave us there. No food. <laughs> and I was telling my daughter because she likes tamarinds. And I was like, I remember there was a tamarind tree. And we would literally be on the porch, leaning over about to fall on, like hurt ourselves, but on the tamarind tree, pulling the tree to pull tamarinds off. And I was like, I think we just ate tamarinds all day. Or like we found some mango on a tree and ate that. Like, what's the worst that can happen? But sometimes ego gets in the way. There was this YouTube video, this documentary on dumpster divers. And there was this, this, in this gentrified part of Brooklyn, this couple who was like, I'm not buying groceries. I'm not paying for groceries. And they literally, there was a dumpster behind Whole Foods. And they knew the time that Whole Foods was throwing out their stuff. And the stuff was not rotted. They just was not going to sell it. <laughs> and they were picking up like, meat and fruit and all kinds of stuff just and it wasn't like dirt was on it it was just in like food bins they would put it in food bins people people are feeling like i'm gonna starve find where the farmhouses are find where the farmers are find a csa there are people that are legitimately selling dozens of eggs for like no money, 50 cents. You, But we don't want to look for it or we let ego get in the way. Oh my gosh. Eggs are overpriced. I'm going to starve to death. I remember a situation in Haiti. Oh, was this 10 years ago? And the, the newscasters, it was... I'm like, the newscasters were showing people in Port-au-Prince and they were like on the energy of like, you know, these poor Negroes, they're in such poverty and they were making mud cookies to eat. They're, they're making cookies out of mud. And so here's what I know is that they're, they're using, it's clay and the clay has nutrients. So they're surviving off of nutrients from the earth. But then I'm just like, this is your depiction of Haiti? 
Yohedi is like, it is, it is an energetic portal. That's just the city. The amount of food that is naturally growing, it's an island in the Caribbean. I've been to several Caribbean islands when there's so much food that it drops to the ground and it rots because it's not enough. It's too much food. And I was just like, what has it that the people are stuck like in this part of the, the, the island where a few miles down, there's an abundance of food? It's a mentality. It's a mentality. No one is keeping you anywhere. Some of y'all are being prompted to move places and you're like, but I'm afraid of what? <laughs> of what? You can always move back. I got rid of all my stuff. All my stuff, but my books. And I have my books in the U.S. in storage. Me and my daughters, we sold stuff. We got rid of, we got rid of all of our winter coats because I was like, I'm moving to South America. There is no winter there. No boots. No winter coats. We got rid of our stuff, sold our stuff, moved to South America. Guess what? We had to come back. We came back. We survived. This is, this is, uh, this 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 game this we this this where we this, where we exist it is so it's it's funny it's amazing it's like yo this shit is wild when it actually works when I did the workshop retrain your brain I taught y'all how the the neurons the neural pathways work <laughs> how many of y'all practice that like for real. I practice it all the time and it works. The challenging part is fighting the construct that this brainwashing. The challenging part is facing the the hidden traumas that's it <laughs> you you're afraid to make certain moves it's based on a trauma face that a lot of us have money traumas i'm going to do a, a thing on that you don't realize what your money trauma is is the, the shit is not real african nation nations are proving that what what country was it oh shoot was it I don't say not Congo. I forgot what country it is. <laughs> Where? What's the country that they were putting the pipeline through? And he was like, uh-uh. How are you going to have a whole big-ass pipe through my country and not give us nothing for it? <laughs> he was like, this is being shut down. <laughs> Yo, once they did that ritual in South Africa, was it um, five, ten years ago? Africa's been on some other shit, <laughs> the whole continent. He was like, y'all think y'all y'all bold enough to build a big ass pipe through my country and not give us no money for it? I'm, I'm chopping the shit down. The, um, <laughs> then America, because they scrambling. Oh my gosh. Yo, listen, listen to the audacity of this. America is like, I, I, is it Uganda? Oh my God. America was like, yo, we will give you like $50 million to like, I don't know. I forgot the whole thing. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like something audacious. Like we'll give you $50 million, maybe f some crazy number to like side with us or something or for us to do something business with you. Because what they're seeing is a lot of countries are dealing with Russia. Russia's like, you can be sovereign, just be on our side. So um, the president was like, are you, are you crazy? You want to give me paper? <laughs> Your paper is backed 
your paper that is connected to Europe, right? Who stole stuff from my country. So your paper is backed up. Your paper is backed by what's in my land naturally. You give me paper for what I already have. If you don't get out of here with that, sh- I know, like, I don't know the exact verbiage, but I know the energy behind it. You wouldn't give me paper for what I already have. Are you, for- that's crazy. That's like somebody saying, hey, um, uh, I can't, I can't even give a, a parallelism to it. Cause that's how, that's how the audacity, you want to give me 50 million American dollars? That's backed by what? It's backed by what I have in my land naturally. I'm richer than you. These countries are waking up like, wait a minute. Y'all money is backed by our shit (laughs) that we have in abundance. You have it in limited amounts. (laughs) That's the type of time y'all need to be on. It's all an illusion. And that's why it's it's comical. And that's why it's, it's... as spiritual beings, y'all need to understand this, 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 that the abundance that you are. When people are telling you, no, you can't do this. Like if you don't get out of here with that. Get out of your ego. Get out of your head. Stop letting whatever take overtake you. You can be you can be scared and nervous and still do it. It's okay. <laughs> Are you? I I was I, I had a friend who was in the military in the Middle East. He told me something and I was like, what? He was in Kuwait. He was in the Navy in Kuwait. And he was like, Melanie, these are so rich. <laughs> I was like, why are you in Kuwait? He said, these dudes are so rich. They People are driving in Benzes like it's a trash car. They literally, the Kuwaiti um, king or whatever, gives distributes the wealth to the people, essentially. But he said, these dudes is so rich that they hire the U.S. Navy. <laughs> he was like, we are hired by Kuwait. Because they understand their value. They ha- Do you, y'all hear what I said? Kuwait hired the U.S. Navy <laughs> to protect it from, I don't know, whoever they're protecting it from. <laughs> Like y'all work for us. And so Africa is on Africa's like, wait a minute. You you trying to scare us with y'all military? We just we'll just hire the Russians. That's the type of time they on. They recognize who they are, they recognize their value, they recognize their abundance. When are y'all gonna recognize that? And really walk in that. And not on some soup that in all areas, not just on some superficial. I'm God is such and such. Are you really fully embody that? Every day you should be making a bold move. Every day you should be doing something that you feel like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. Do it. <laughs> and then see what happens. Test your godness. And then tell me. I want to know. <laughs> I like getting the, the messages. I like getting the screenshots. I like getting the reports. And I'm going to cheer you on like, good, keep going. Stop letting fear overtake you. Well, what if... <sighs> What if you let me let me t- let me y'all I'm gonna give y'all I always I always say let's not have money trauma let's not have um, issues with money 
I don't want to hear it, period, from nobody. I told my students a couple weeks ago, I was like, nobody in the inner circle, alchemy circle, or any SAU, anything, better say anything about money when I'm teaching y'all about abundance, when I'm teaching y'all this stuff. Do the work. I gave y'all the practices. Do it. For all of you who are very empathic, who do not like working a nine to five job, or maybe you're just lazy. <laughs> Some of y'all just lazy, like for real. Sometimes you're just like, I don't just freaking do that. I want to have a job. I don't want to drive Uber because oh, I don't want to drive. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give y'all a job. I'm gonna tell y'all about a job uh, <laughs> that you can get and make $30 up to $100 an hour. Y'all ready? This is this is legit. This is legit. <laughs> this is legit. Cuz the the types of jobs that are out here, I'm like, is that real? Y'all listen to me? You can get a job, not tarot. I said for those who are lazy, you hear me? La- who is like, I don't want to do nothing but sit on my couch and get money. <laughs> it, on the on your path to doing your soul mission work, like you can do this to get some money to invest, right? <laughs> what you got to do to buy your products or whatever, okay? You are ready? <laughs> I, I sent this to a friend of mine two months ago. I was like, "This would be the perfect job for you." <laughs> like, she wanted some. She needed some money, right, to help fund her business. There, you can literally be. You can literally. There's two things you can do. One is safe. One is not so safe. One I heard about a few years ago. It's called empathic listener. Empathic listener. There are people who will pay you to just get on the phone and just listen. You don't say nothing. Just, "Mm mm-hmm, wow, yeah. They will pay you $30 to $100 an hour, depending on how how many, you know, reviews you have, just to listen. (laughs) I'm going to tell y'all where to go. Y'all think I'm joking? (laughs) You think I'm joking? If you have credentials, put your credentials. If you went to college and got a degree in social work, put that there. Put how, put your, put your, you can put your, you have Gemini in a certain placement. Put I have Gemini when you advertise your services. Tell them how great of a listener you are. Okay. Easy. You can go to a website called Upwork, upwork.com. Type in empathic listener. You will see people making money off of sitting on their phone and just listening. So, (laughs) I don't want to hear no excuses about nothing. I just told, I just gave y'all, here you go, there you go. You don't need no experience, no, you don't need a computer, you just need a phone. Everybody have a phone because y'all on the phone right now. (laughs) <laughs> okay and post because you because you don't have any uh clients post twenty dollars an hour some of y'all don't make twenty dollars an hour post twenty five dollars an hour or whatever whatever it is be competitive until you get some clients and then you raise your prices. All right? Have fun. Maybe maybe somebody was meditating today. It's like, spirit team, you know, I need I need y'all to help me get some money. There you go. Your spirit team just <laughs> was like, there you go. Professor Melanie told you how to make some money on the side. Get five... Listen to five people a day at twenty dollars an hour. That's a hundred dollars an hour for five hours. Just do it while your kids are at school. Five hours. Listen, you can do it. Your kids are at home. Homeschool your kids and put your phone on mute. <laughs> <laughs> the 
that's $500 a week. Or if you want to work weekends, that's $700 a week. That's $20 an hour. Now, if you, if you do it for $60 an hour, do the math on that. Okay? There's, we have a, there's a workshop coming up soon. Um, somebody was like, you do all these workshops? Yes, because uh, people need to work. <laughs> I need to teach y'all how to do some work. I'm trying to teach y'all some stuff. That's just one thing I can share. There's more. I have so, so many things to share. That's just one for tonight. Listen, I sell big houses. You got a BA in psychology. That's right. Do that. And then you can start building up your money, doing whatever you got to do. I don't know if you're in an accelerator or not to start funding your business, to start doing what it is you are supposed to be doing. Right? <laughs> if you really bought it and you really want to make some money, you... There are people that will pay people to hug them, like $200 an hour. I forgot what the website is called, but you can look up professional huggers or professional, excuse me, cuddlers. <laughs> and people pay people, people make like hundreds of dollars an hour just to go to someone's house. Like I said, it's sketchy and just, they just want to cuddle. Now, mind you, there's like a legitimate website where people have background checks and all that stuff. But it's a, it's a thing. I think it, it started like in China. Because you have, you have more men than you have women. And um, not just that. You have people that are uh, uh, have certain cognitive disabilities. But they still need the touch of like a, a woman. And they pay money for that. I know, there, I know there's uh, locations in New York. <laughs> Okay. So it's I'm what I'm what I'm saying to y'all is like stop being stressed out, like have fun, but do your work. Let's ascend. Be on your soul mission. Heal. Stop doing the most. Take a deep breath, calm down, drink some tea, <laughs> you know? Follow your promptings. But make a commitment to do this work or not. Love us say, you said, I did feet pics too. I just like the faith and diligence. Oh gosh. Let me tell you something. Have you seen the feet pics? People think, oh, I have to have pretty feet. Nah. Sometimes the worst defeat you have makes them more money. Some people are really out here <laughs> wanting some nasty stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. So <laughs> you seen the rabbit hole with that love all set? Yeah, it's kind of scary. So, um, yeah, and like Teresa said, thank you, Teresa. There's definitely, you know, I say when you do any spiritual work as a spiritual being, you should always be protecting yourself. Always, always be protecting yourselves. Y'all should always be protecting yourselves before you go to sleep at night, before you, when you get up. Always set your day. Like, what is my day going to be like? You know, play with it. I'm telling you, I do it every day. And every day it is exactly when I... As I say, when I don't do it, that's when stuff is crazy. And I'm like, oh, man, I didn't do my work this morning. Before you open your eyes, just 
this is what my day is going to be like. This is what's going to happen. Da, 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 da. And, and play, play with it. When it actually happens how you intend it to, you'll be like, oh, snap. And then you'll start doing it more and more. But it's, 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 and excuse me, it's, it's time for y'all to really, oh, it sounds uh, cliche to even say a step in, a step up to your power. Sister Mara has been saying that. Like, I'm stepping up. Mm-mm, I don't see no power in you. People need to, I, I wanted to be, I was talking, I think I was talking to a group of students and I was like, people really be like mad at, you know, the powers that be or the man or these millionaires and these billionaires and they mad at Oprah because they, Maui, a certain area of Maui was burnt down for the rich people to have their homes. And it's like, only people that don't have money is complaining. And you're making it seem like it's the evil versus good when it's not really the thing. So if, if it were good people with the money, would it be an issue? You complain because you it's this thing of like, well, they have all the money and the wealth and we and we don't have nothing. You there are oh my gosh. Have y'all seen people I've seen people burn like bills that I didn't didn't know existed. You know there's there's bills, like there's a thousand dollar bill. You know there's like big bills that exist. There's 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 people that have so much money that they don't know what. They do stupidness with it. Have y'all ever been to Dubai? These people, this, I, I will never forget. I will never forget. I went into a Sephora and these women came in there. Um, these Emirati women. And they had these beautiful, like, um, what do you call it? I forgot what they, they, they're long dressed outfits. I can't think straight. And I was just like, First of all, they smelled like, oh, they smelled like you could smell the sandalwood and the, you know, essential oils and stuff. But um, their clothes were like shining in the light. And I was like, their their um, outfits are like shiny. Like, what kind of material is that? And my friend said to me, is gold thread. And I said, what? She said, yeah, it's, it's gold thread. They weave gold in their clothes. I said, how do you do that? And she was like, that's what they do. I said, you have so much money <laughs> that you put in you, you gold thread in your clothes. Like gold is just thread. Like what? And you know, they don't wear the outfit more than once. That's how much abundance is here. Your mind is just not in alignment with that. That's all. So when spiritual beings can tap into that abundance and have that abundance, then I don't want to say you, you, you um, equal the playing field. The conversation is different. Then things start to change. And I'm not saying to change the world. I'm saying to change for those who you're here to help. When I did that video and I said money is not the root of all evil, it's not. That's not, money is not evil. Money is, is what is it? <laughs> In this country, is paper. The paper is nothing. It's just backed by something. What is it backed by? Who is it backed by? Do we even know? No, we're just passing notes around. But we focus on something inanimate being evil, but, you know, being lied to, manipulated, or poverty not being evil. And not realizing that I can use this inanimate thing to fix these things. In the right hands, money is powerful, it's abundant, it's beautiful, it's a good thing. It's just been in the wrong hands for too long. So y'all attract it to your hands so y'all can really do your healing work. I just saw like a, um, what's it called? What do you, a, a brown massage table. Maybe because I was thinking of a, like... Uh, massage therapist earlier like you have a, a raggedy I can literally see it a massage table and the corners are like 
peeling up and they're like gray underneath. <laughs> Maybe you need a massage table so that you can help heal people, but you don't have the money for it. Right? Is it evil for you to get the money for it? No. You here to do your work. <sighs> And the love of it is not the root of all evil. That doesn't make sense. The love of money is the root of all evil. Think about that. Think about that for a second. Think about that. That's not even what it says in the Bible. I read it. So just take a moment and think about some of the things we've been told. And does that make sense? How can... How can that be the root of evil when it didn't exist millions of years ago? Didn't exist millions of years ago. So how is that the root? The root is where something grows from or stems from. People. People. There are evil people. Right? How is being used and manipulated? But I, to- I, talked, I talked about that. I talked about that <laughs> already in a, in a, in a lecture. All right. So anyway, um, I just wanted to. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I heard a message earlier and I forgot. That's why I wanted to come on here. Mm-mm-mm. When somebody said the eight. Eight year. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I wrote it down, but spirit literally told me something. Um. Is that the right word? Mm-mm-mm. When I get it, I'll, I'll share it with you. It'll come back. It'll come back. Yeah, next year is an eight year. Is not what, is not what, ugh, be careful. People are going to say stuff that is not. <laughs> like 2020. Um, there's a word that I received about next year. It'll come back and I'll share it. Thank you for being um, open and H beats. And I wasn't trying to chastise you. I just wanted to correct you. Like, I just want to get you to um, you know, to expand your mind and really think some of the things we've been told, right? Because some of the stuff is, is really ridiculous, you know? Um, I don't know where I got this energy from because I did not have it a little while ago. But um, per usual, speaking to you all, it just energized me. And just thinking about what I saw this week. Um, so with that said, um, oh, it's 3.03, yeah. So it's time for me to go. Everyone have a wonderful... Is it... I've been speaking for a long time, <laughs> like over an hour. Um, well, was, if you're on the East Coast, it's time to meditate. <laughs> Don't you go to sleep. Um, um, everyone have a wonderful rest of your night. Sweet dreams, safe travels. Um, love you too. I sell big houses. And um, yeah, I'll be talking to y'all soon. Thank you for um, hanging out with me tonight. Peace, everyone. Good night.